About ten years ago, ten years ago, you were quite outspoken on the subject of civil rights and ardent crusader. But since you really haven't, well, been quite as outspoken as you were before, have your beliefs changed at all, or why? No, it isn't that I'm not outspoken. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm quite outspoken. Uh, the intensity of my involvement is just reflected by the intensity, I think, of everybody's involvement on the American scene at the moment. With the advent of Dr. Martin Luther King's uh, assassination, the whole, the whole stream of political consciousness and social consciousness and uh, political action uh, began to take many different turns. Uh, there is n there's not essentially now what I would call a civil rights movement in America, at least, a, at least in the political action sense. But uh, the, great, the great abundance of, 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 of uh, black energy in the political arena, I think, has turned to the area of electoral politics. And that's where I find most of my energies being spent, as well as most of uh, the people with whom I was associated with intensely during the civil rights years with Dr. King. Unless uh, an individual has uh, charisma on the national scene, most of the activity that we participate in is on a local level, so that uh, people in Michigan know that I'm very outspoken, people in Chicago or in Newark, for instance, because it's all highly localized. Uh, Dr. King was, uh, was a man of national image and international uh, uh, character. So as a consequence, whatever I did with him and whenever I was with him, it had... Uh, international ramifications for the press. But if there was someone, white or black, running in this community or any other community in America that uh, I, th that I feel, felt uh, brought to the arena of American politics something that would help save the nation, then I would be in that community and uh, you'd be aware of how outspoken I am.